Hello everybody, welcome to today's vlog. Um What are you doing, dude? Your mother's trying to sell. <laughs> you dropped it right when you said that. <laughs> Look at all these puppies, three dogs. If you guys watched my last video, you guys would know we are in Dallas right now staying at um, a subscriber's guest room. So thank you, Shelby. That's where we're staying. So I'm gonna make us a little dinner and today's video is actually sponsored by HelloFresh. So thank you to them for sponsoring this video. If you guys have watched my channel, you know I've worked with them before. Kyle and I actually paid for our own subscription to HelloFresh for, I don't know, I wanna say like five months. Basically we had it up until we went on the road because it was a little bit harder to do. But anytime we were at someone's place for like um, a few days, we like to put in an order for a box. Um, it's just easier, it helps you not eat out as much, and it's nice to not have to worry about like grocery shopping or anything like that while you're on the road. So that's one thing I love about HelloFresh is it's super convenient. If you don't know what they are, it is a meal delivery subscription, and they send you a box straight to your door, and then they send you all the ingredients you need. Um, and then they also send you menu cards and it's really nice because you can go on the app every week and you can pick out what recipes you want to do. I do it all the time. I like to, sometimes I like to swap things out um, depending what we are in the mood for that week. So. so everything comes in one of these bags and everything is pre-portioned to make things super easy. This is the recipe we're going to be making tonight. Like I said, we have used HelloFresh for months and we have tried so many different recipes and we've never had one that we didn't like. Everything is always super delicious and it was really helpful for me as a new wife having to start cooking for a hubby. Hey, that's me. <laughs> so I'm just surrounded by dogs right now. <laughs> If you guys want to try HelloFresh, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code Cayenne14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. Definitely check them out if you guys haven't tried them yet. I highly recommend. It'll make your life so much easier. So Facts. let's, yes, and even Kyle can cook them, so. And I am not a cook. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's Handsome. throw that at me. Handsome threw it at you. All that right. is not okay. Okay, I'm gonna cook it now. And it, that came out over a pan. Listen. That's why I was like, all right, all right, I'm done. Because I was like, you're just gonna get mad at me. You're already, no, <laughs> hold on. You're already mad at me. I'm not genuinely mad. I'm just annoyed. Like, why are you trying to talk to me about these pans? Like, you just give me so much crap about the pan that I spent the pan money sucks. on. Because the pan sucks, so why don't you just tell me, you're right, the pan sucks. Because I don't but think it the is pan what it is. sucks. So thank you for cleaning it every time, by hand, and I love you. Okay, I understand you want new pans then. No, I never said that. I'm What's just saying these pans suck. From Kyle first, if this pan company ever wants to sponsor me, there goes that. <laughs> I mean, if they're supposed to be non-stick pans, they do the opposite of that. They stick. Every time you clean them, they look brand new. Because I scrubbed the crap out of it. Okay, all right, anyway. I mean, here's the thing. If I could put it in a dishwasher and it comes out clean, I wouldn't care as much. So Whatever. you're really more upset that you have to wash it by hand? We well, have to wash it by hand and they stick and okay. everything sticks to it and then it burns to it. Look at this pan. Dang, Kyle is exposing. We haven't tried to wash it yet though. Well, it shouldn't anyway, be like that. Whatever. This is. I hope you really don't put this in the vlog. It would just be a waste of time. No, it's not a waste of time because this. Okay, we finished dinner. Kyle, the best husband in the world, is doing the dishes. Hey, that's me. Very, um, he has such a positive attitude about <laughs> it, and we love that. This freaking pan, oh. <laughs> Down. Hands up, that's so bad. <laughs> Down. Down. Yeah, you gotta get down. 
Anyway, we're going to go to sleep because, well, we'll probably watch another episode on Netflix. Let's be for real. That's facts. Um, and then we got to go. We got to wake up early because we have to go to a photo shoot tomorrow. So we will see you in the morning. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring. Make sure to use my code, Cayenne14, for 14 free meals plus free shipping. You heard the lady. If it's free, it's for me. So I'd be all over this deal. Right? Thanks. Yeah. Because I love you too. Yeah. I want to support you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So you guys don't really love Cayenne unless you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night. Oh. Oh. Good All morning. Right. Good morning. Oh, bring a black shirt, too. Do you have your black long yeah. sleeve? Bring oh. that one. What about black short sleeve? Yeah, that works. <laughs> cool. That's all we got. Okay, good morning, everybody. We're going to head to a photo shoot this morning. Um, one of you guys reached out on Instagram and said she'd like to do a shoot with us. So we're heading down. We're in the McKinney area right now, so we have to drive, like, I think, 40 minutes to the photo shoot. It's early. It's like 7 30. Um, I'm gonna touch up my hair. Just kind of gonna do like loose waves. I'm using the T3 micro. This one is the one where you can uh, put on all the different heads. And I don't know, I think this is like one and a half inch barrel or something, but. Some of them I just wrap like this. And I leave out the ends. And I kind of just I brush through right away so it's not too tight. And then some of them I like to go this way, leaving the end out. And then once you're done, you kind of unwind it like that, and then you straighten out the end. And that kind of gives you a similar effect. And it's easier. So anyway, I'm just going to do this. I'm just tired. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Is my hair ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, we just left Target. We ran in because Kyle needed some new white shoes for the photo shoot so any, any excuse to get into target for oh that, you know? yeah <laughs> so i figured i would do a little quick target haul oh, damn. these are the white shoes we got they're very cheap twenty dollars we got that's my kind of shoe yeah <laughs> and then we got some espresso pods because the girl we're staying with, we've been using hers, so we wanted to replenish them. Mm. And then I found these really cute sandals. They remind me of the Aloha's brand, which I have literally had so many advertisements for. And I want to buy them, but they're literally like $150, so I don't know. They look like good dupes, and they are really comfy. And then the last thing I found was this. Last minute, there was a $10 off coupon but we needed to spend 10 more dollars and I found this and I'm really happy I did it's like a what is this called a satchel for your phone, phone. wallet satchel and then it has a pocket for money and then inside you can keep your phone and there's three card slots and I've been wanting to buy one of these I don't like purses I'm not a huge purse person a lot of times I just grab my phone and my card and run in so that's like the perfect functionality and size for 
what I like at least. It's legit? So. Yeah, it's nice. It was like $20. Good find. And they had it in other colors and stuff. So that's a mini Target haul. We are on our way to the studio. Yes, and Still there's gonna traffic, be so. 10 minutes early though. Yep, because, because why? Because Kyle made us wake up early. <laughs> I, I know we need extra uh, time I, in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. Like uh, when I grew up, I would always set alarms at the very last possible minute, and then I would get up and go. See, when but, I grew up, when I grew up, as I was growing up, I would set alarms for the very last possible minute and be late to everything. <laughs> I just I mean, there's yeah, always... I was always running. Like I was always <laughs> I was always rushing. Yes, yeah, so it's not fun. It just like. I knew that that alarm I needed to get up. Like I didn't. Ha Kyle likes to set like four alarms. I like to do like. I like to set one. If alarm. I want to be up by seven thirty, I set a seven fifteen and a seven twenty five. No, then you set. You also set like a six forty five, and I'm like, well, Why? no, sometimes, sometimes, not always. I hate that. I hate that he does like one extra alarm that's super early. It's like, why don't we just have some quality sleep? Because for you, once you're up, you're up. For me, I wake up and I go back to sleep. And I wake up and I, I know, go back to sleep. I know, but it's like, I don't want to have... And then I wake up and I'm, I'm like, up. oh, I'm ready to get up because I already did my wake up, go back to sleep routine. <laughs> I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> All right, there's, anyway. there's times before bed where I'm literally begging him to turn off that, that one early alarm that's just ridiculous. It's like, if we need to wake up at 7.30, why are you setting an alarm for 6.45? Granted, I'll give you that one, but the 715 and the 725, totally That's fine. valid. That's fine. Okay, we can agree on that. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's hit the road. Guys, I'm like. I'm so disappointed I'm in her. I'm so, so sorry because <laughs> I didn't show you my Starbucks coffee and like what kind of basic girl would I be? Right? I mean, like, what am I, complex now? Seriously, I like didn't you didn't even do the basics. You don't buy coffee and then not show people that you bought coffee from Starbucks. <laughs> anyway, I got the I don't even know what it's called. That's how non-basic I am because I don't know anything. Brown from sugar, shaken, shaken oat milk, oat milk creamer. And I espresso. added the vanilla cream foam, which apparently there is a difference between the vanilla cream and the vanilla cream foam. So that was a new lesson that I learned at Target today. You know, I still haven't figured out what I like from there. I have. Kyle always gets the salted caramel cold foam cold burn. Yes. <laughs> mm. And she crushed this one. This, this is delicious. This one's pretty good, yeah. yeah. And then we also got food. I always get, well, we always share. We get the egg white bites and then the bacon gouda sandwich gotta have some fuel for the photo shoot. Yeah, you just can't have empty stomach. Empty stomachs? Empty stomachs. <laughs> can't have empty stomachs during you a photo shoot. You need to drink more of your coffee. Yeah, I do. Alright guys, that is your basic update of the day. Bye. <laughs> You're one of the good ones. No, I'm one of the good ones. No, you ones. can't sing with me. No. You said my voice is good. Well, I never said that. Yes, you did. You just said my voice is beautiful. I mean, we can go back to the tape and see if um, that's on there. It wasn't recording yet. <laughs> oh, so now you're just making things up. You're one of the good ones. That is beautiful. And he's on my... Oh, gosh. That was so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's one wrong. of the good ones. And he's on my... Better? Well done. <laughs> well done. You're one of the good ones. Sing it, baby. You're my. That's good stuff. I knew I married you for your voice. Yeah, you did. I should have sang at our wedding. I would have loved it. I actually would have loved it. Really? Yeah. But it just made me, made me like, I don't know, love you even more. Got it. Noted. Well, can't go back in time. Can't go back so in time. I guess I'm just, I lost out on my chance of all that more love that you had for me. Yep. Get what you get. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs>
I'm one of the good ones. She's one of the good and ones. And I'm all mine. And she's all hers. These, this looks really cool. Excellent. I'm not going to lie. The roads? Yeah. It's like we're in a new utopia. Yeah. It's like we're in the future. Dallas, you are the future. <laughs> we made it to the studio. We've been shooting for like an hour now. It's been so an hour, yep. We're gonna do a couple more things. This is our photographer. Um, I will have her Instagram linked in the description. I'll give you a little studio tour. We got this set up over here. Shooting in front of this nice neutral wall. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> we got handsome here, so I'll show you a little behind the scenes. Okay, yeah, so if you just want to, like, I guess for it to take a little picture, get a little bit close to you guys. been time it has been some time there has been some time that has gone by and we gotta go we gotta go we came back after we went and grabbed lunch came back after to edit a video and get it uploaded and now it is 6 20 and we're gonna go to the porch which is a young adult service that a lot of you guys recommended so that's where we're going now i'm very tired and I want to be antisocial and stay in bed, but I can't. I already, I already committed, so we're going. This is not a date. This is not, you know, we're not dropping down on the knee here. It's just milkshakes after the porch. Make dating hashtag fun and casual again. Am I right? Or am I right? So, <laughs> who wants to be our lovely bachelorette of the night? Oh my Please goodness. help me welcome. The profound mystery is that I'm talking about Christ and the church. The Bible says, ultimately, marriage, why it's a big deal to God, is it's not just a picture of you and your bride or you and your husband. It is a picture of God and his unstoppable, unending relationship with the church, his bride. 
And in marriage, we're given a glimpse, a picture that points us to that. It's been a couple days. We ended up going to the porch, which was really interesting. They started everything off with like this dating show thing. And it, I was really nervous. It was but, a little questionable. Yeah, but it was funny. But it turned out well. And the message itself was good. Really good. And it was fun to like hear that they were just talking about the different steps to go from like dating to married. And it was cool because we got to kind of like reflect on all of our steps. Our journey, yeah. Yeah, that happened very fast. Praise God too because we definitely what? followed like the structure that they have, a biblical structure. Um, from going from dating to marriage, we followed it pretty well. Yeah. I mean, our time frame was a lot quicker. Yeah, I think, he didn't really mention time time much. He right. just said, "I don't encourage people to be engaged for too long." Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, perfect. it was good. And then yesterday, we spent the whole day in bed just watching Netflix. Oh, it was so nice. Yep, it was so nice. But today, we're gonna explore a little bit more because it's our last day here in Dallas. So I'm going through all your recommendations, and we're headed to La La Land Kind Cafe which is a coffee shop that you guys recommended. We're gonna sit down, catch up on some work stuff, and then um, maybe check out another district around here just to get a, more of a feel for what Dallas is like. Yeah, gotta explore. Yep. All right, let's head inside. Cool. 